hello my loves welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well i'm currently in the warehouse i thought i would just film a bit of a weekly vlog whatever i get up to i am home from bali now as you can see won't be in bali for another couple of months um so yeah there won't be bali content for a little while we don't actually have a flight booked to go back but maybe january if not january March, April, we're going to be spending a lot of time in Bali next year. I haven't actually worked out exactly when and I have a lot of other exciting things. Oh, I should tell you guys now as well. I haven't, is that a going blurry? I haven't even told you guys, but guess who's going to Coachella next year? Me. Very excited about it. To be honest, I didn't think I'd be doing Coachella again, um, but I'm really excited about it. So 2019, I went to Coachella with Beginning Boutique um and that was probably one of my biggest like brand trips i'd done at the time so that was very exciting the next year i was set to go with white fox so 2020 but obviously covid happened so that all got cancelled i am going to coachella with brand um i'm not going to tell you guys yet but you can probably work it out um you can probably take a guess so going to Coachella in april oh yeah reason being i wasn't gonna do it again was just because i was like i'm getting too old i'm not gonna go to the festival again it's like a big commitment but yeah i'm doing it so that's really exciting we'll have like lots of time in la before and la after also so i'm very excited for my travels as well next year guys again i'm not gonna say at the moment where i'm going just because i haven't i've written it down put it that way i wrote down Probably about three weeks ago, I wrote in my notes, like month to month, actually pretty much week to week, not really week to week, but chunks at a time where I'll be, whether I'll be in Australia, whether I'll be in Bali, whether I'll be overseas. So I kind of jotted all that down. I really want to do Europe next year, um, which I've already told you guys about that. So yeah, I wrote my plan on what I want to do and hopefully it sort of all falls into place. I need to pack some orders and then I will come back out and chat to you. So today is my day when I don't have any staff members here. So no one's here. It's just me. That means I pack the orders today and print out the labels and do all of that. Today's another day, clearly. My hair and my makeup is a little bit more presentable than it has been in the rest of this vlog. Apologies. I'm gonna come back so I can show you. This outfit is so cute. Oh, I think I just stepped on glass. I just did something really stupid and I, yep, I did. I, I dropped a glass just then as I was about to show you my outfit, but I'm gonna show you my outfit and then we're gonna clean it up. We're just gonna pretend it's not back there shattered all over the floor. I can't go back any further. I want to. Oh, should I go back a little bit? I just don't want to step on this glass, you know? So yeah, that's the outfit. Have a pair of heels on and then this little bag and it's all pretty little thing. Even my shoes. I didn't order from them the other day and yeah, heaps of cute stuff at the moment. All right, we're gonna clean up now and then I'll chat with you guys. Okay, I have some protective shoes on. I'm honestly the most clumsy person. I think I know. I'm definitely the most clumsy person I ever know. The water is like flicking at me as I do this. Scared oh. that I'm gonna like leave heaps of shards of glass. However, I have a lot of shit to do, so I don't have time to vacuum it. Actually, yeah, I do. We have a Dyson. I can just use the Dyson. It takes two seconds. Apologies about that little rude interruption. I want to show you guys something. I'm very excited about this. Hold on one second. Let me go grab them. Where did I put them? 
I put them in the spare room. Okay, firstly, I'm pretty sure that there is definitely some glass in my foot. It's like a really tiny bit, so I can't see it at all, but there's definitely some glass in my foot. Secondly, I'm very excited about this. I got some of the Emma sleep pillows. If you guys watched one of my videos ages ago, I think it was like, oh, I probably should have got some scissors. Probably like six months ago, I'd say, I unboxed an Emma sleep mattress. It was so comfortable, by the way. Really, really liked it. They also have pillows, so I want to try them out. We actually don't have enough pillows on the bed. We've got four, but there's two that I just like don't really like but i want to replace those with hopefully these ones if i like them i'm super excited to feel this one because the pillows were epic and it's the same concept i guess it's gonna pop out kind of like that one did oh this one is that a washable cover <gasps> yeah this has washable cover like the mattress as well which is so handy so you can take that out um and wash it if it gets dirty obviously you put like a pillow cover over the top of it but you know how sometimes it like gets through i don't know someone's like sweating majorly all right so i guess you leave it for a little bit and just let it fluff up and do its thing oh wow it's coming up like so quickly it feels really really good i don't know i just feel like my pillows at the moment are i have two of the really like heavy heavy foam ones are they called temper i'm not too sure I have two of those but i feel like they're just too hard and they give me like a bit of a sore neck and then i have another couple of ones that are like cheaper and much softer but i'm just not vibing any of them so hopefully this one will be good i'm gonna give it a little test i'm gonna try to put my makeup on it because i don't obviously have a cover on it right now feels good to touch it <gasps> oh oh yeah yep mm-hmm Yep, I can see myself really getting used to that. You really like sink into it, but it's still supportive if that makes sense. Oh my god, I love that. They do also as well have a 100 day money back guarantee. So if you guys don't like it, you can return it. They do free returns and free shipping as well. And they've been kind enough today to give me a 5% discount code on top of the already discounted prices. So I'm pretty sure at the moment on their website it is up to 55% off and then my discount code will give you an extra 5% so that's what 60% off that is nuts I will leave a link in the description box as well in case you guys were in the market for a new pillow I feel like it's also a really good present to give to your partner if you guys live together or even if you don't live together because you'll see you staying at their house as well a really good present to be giving to your partner because then you get to use them too if you buy them too then you will absolutely be able to get some use out of that present i'm gonna get off this before i start making a mess actually i might put a pillowcase on love all right fam we are off to get some maccas i'm done doing kind of like what i needed to do so i'm gonna get some food i'm going to a late lunch with the girls and i don't like not eating before i drink you know even though i'm going to eating lunch there i still just want a little bit and i don't have time to cook anything i don't have any food at home because i'm on the shopping so i'm going to go and get i don't know what i feel like i feel like something what do i feel like i don't know what i feel like oh my god i don't know i don't feel like nuggets because i've had them already this week hi can i please get uh a snack wrap yeah crispy chicken snack wrap and a medium fries yeah and Uh, that's it actually. That's everything? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was the most uninteresting order ever. Like I said, I'm going out to lunch very soon and I just wanted a little bit of something um, to keep me going, you know? There we are. Thank you. Thanks. It's probably so noisy and you guys probably can't hear me. I thought I would jump on and say hello, otherwise I'm just going to get to talk to the camera. So, actually at events, I have had so many events in the last little bit, and holiday season is like just starting. There's going to be so many events, like with Christmas and stuff, at the One Mile event, and it's so beautiful. I'm wearing one of Sammy's new pieces from her collection. She did it absolutely amazing.
Alright, just did a pretty standard size grocery shop for us. So I want to show you guys what we got. So we got some cauliflower, asparagus, dill, chives, cos lettuce, mushies, tomato, jalapeno, onion. Um, so the dill, I just want to show you what I'm having for some breakfast this week. I'm having these bagels. Getting back on the bagel train. So bagel, the Philly cheese, it's here. Sliced tomato and dill. That's what that is for. And then one of our dinners is bug rolls, homemade bug rolls. That's what the lobster tail is for, the brioche buns. And yes, I have been dabbling in bug rolls for quite some time now. I actually like them. Uh, some more cheese over here, peanut butter, because I was craving the other day and yeah, didn't have any. Mandarines. Is it mandarin or mandarin? Mandarins. Mandarin. I say mandarin. I say mandarin too. Mandarins, because that's how I've always said it. Uh, these Turkish rolls are for dinner tonight. So we're having Dorito crumbed chicken. Yes, yes, so caramelized onions, Ooh. mushrooms, mashed potato, Ooh. chicken parmigiana, jalapenos, and cheese. Wow. Okay. That's what it all is. On the Turkish bread, corn is just for life. Cauliflower, mac and cheese. Well, that's obviously for that. And then butter chicken, some oat milk, because that's the milk that I eat. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, that's the um, butter that we use as well, the Nullilex. It's really good if you haven't tried it before. And I think I covered everything. That is the shop. Get my cross section, actually. Look at that. Yeah. Move your hands over. Let me get the cross section. Oh, how good. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. And I will speak to you in my next video.